Hi, seventh grade families. My name is Connor Lane, and I'm going to be the homeroom seventh grade social studies and seventh grade science teacher this school year. I should have a, a PowerPoint that I'd love to show all of you guys. All right. Great. So I just wanted to start off with just a little bit about myself. Um, again, my name is Connor Lane, and I'm going to be the middle school um, social studies teacher and also life science teacher for seventh and eighth grade, as well as a seventh grade homeroom teacher. Um, just a little bit of background and information about myself. Um, so I'm originally born uh, in the East Coast. I'm from uh, right, a town right outside of Boston, Massachusetts, uh, and I attended a school, Boston College High School, which is a Jesuit all boys school in Massachusetts. I was fortunate enough to, fortunate enough to go there from seventh to 12th grade. Uh, and then from, from uh, Boston College High School, I moved on to Providence College uh, in Rhode Island where I majored in global studies. And then I actually was fortunate enough to play rugby in college. And then I also studied abroad in South Africa, which I'm hoping to talk to your students or my students, your, your children about this school year. Um, I recently graduated from the University of Portland and I was a member of the Pacific Alliance for Catholic Education Program or PACE as some of you may have heard, it's quite popular in this area for obvious reasons. Uh, I taught high school history in Honolulu, Hawaii the last two school years. Um, I was lucky enough to be uh, in Hawaii, unfortunately due to the pandemic, I wasn't there for the exact two years, um, but I did be, I was able to enjoy the great weather and the great beaches uh, and in, in the school in particular, I taught American government, consumer economics, and world history my first year of teaching. Um, so I'm hoping to pull a lot of those pieces from what I taught um, to high schoolers to the seventh graders this school year, uh, and especially talking about hopefully Hawaiian history uh, as we move on throughout the year as well. As I mentioned, my role at St. Rose School, uh, I'm gonna be the sixth grade social studies teacher, and then I'll be working specifically with the seventh graders, which I'm excited to, to be doing uh, in social studies, life science and homeroom. And then I'll also be teaching eighth grade social studies as well as life science. So I'm just gonna go through a few slides that has some information uh, regarding homeroom, life science, social studies, some policies, uh, and then just kind of some best practices and some goals that I have for the seventh graders. Um, so homeroom meets every single day at the start of the day. Students will start off each day with daily prayer, the student creed, and the Pledge of Allegiance. So far, I have been leading the daily prayers. I am hoping within the next few weeks to start having students lead the daily prayers, whether it be them finding their own prayer or me finding a prayer for them, but they'm just leading the group. Homeroom will also be an opportunity for students to get organized for the day. Sometimes we have, you know, 15 minutes to get organized, 10 minutes to get organized, and sometimes we have a little bit longer, especially on our Wednesdays during Mass. This is also a great opportunity for them to reflect on the weekly virtue, which we'll be sharing in homeroom and they will talk about in religion. And then ask, just ask any questions that they have for me about the schedule or their classmates or anything for life, science, or social studies. This is also the opportunity for students to submit any notifications that are sent home, um, such as the middle school grade policies, uh, which was sent home a few days ago. And, and as well as the student profile, which is sent, sent home last week, um, you know, the student, and then also the student handbook acknowledgement sheet, and then any COVID-19 testing improvement sheets. Um, so the homeroom is a great opportunity for them to ask me questions, um, to gather with their peers, ask them questions, things like that. Um, really good opportunity to start off the day. So I'm just going to quickly go through some information regarding life science. Um, so this course this year will be thematic. We'll have about eight themes that I'll be covering, um, you know, starting off with the scientific, scientific method. Uh, we've been talking about this past week, talking about uh, molecules and organisms. So we've started off um, this actually today talking about cells in the classroom. So we're going to be starting off that and then moving on to structure and function, ecosystems, um, you know, different ecosystems. Um, obviously throughout the world and particularly in, you know, in Portland, but then also, um, you know, marine ecosystems and wildlife ecosystems as well. Introduction to animal, animals, talking about inheritance and a variation of traits, the human body and biological evolution. Um, these themes will be covered throughout the school year. Um, sometimes they may go in this order that you see here. Sometimes we might back and bounce back and forth depending on the unit, uh, but these are themes that we'll be covering hopefully be covering throughout the whole school year. Wait. 
there we go, sorry. Um, in this course, students will complete labs in the classroom. So we'll be um, completing labs. It'll be a little bit difficult to do due to the COVID-19 um, protocols and things like that. But we do, I do have a goal of, of having some labs uh, being done in the classroom. We will have projects throughout the school years, uh, quizzes, tests, and then homework throughout the week. It will vary depending on the unit, how much, how often they get homework. Uh, there will not be homework assigned, most likely on weekends, unless it's a project that has been, you know, assigned over the multiple stand of a few weeks. Um, but homework will be assigned probably two to three times a week, again, depending on the unit. So just some information regarding social studies. Uh, similar to life science, this, this course is also thematic. Um, so we will be covering eight themes, history and geography, which we're talking about currently. Um, we just started talking about timelines, which is going to be you know, tying into the just history knowledge in general, but also geography as well. Um, we'll be talking about culture. So who am I and who are we? Talking about different culture and ethnic groups um, throughout the world and also, you know, locally as well. Um, governments, so different governments, you know, monarchies, oligarchies, things like that. Uh, and then, you know, finances and sustainability will be covered um, throughout the school year. Economics will be tied into the finance theme oppression, cause and effect. Um, so we will be focused on focusing on the Eastern Hemisphere. Uh, we actually talked about that the last few days of what that actually means. Um, so you know continents such as Africa, parts of Europe, Asia and Australia. We're going to be learning about the history of some of those countries, tying into these themes, then also the geographies as well. Uh, in this course, students will complete group and individual projects. Um, some of the projects will be, you know, group or pair based. Some of them will be individually done. Uh, modified document based questions or DBQs. Um, this is a tool that is used quite often in high school. So we will be doing kind of modified ones that won't be um, as depth for, you know, the writing side of it, uh, but it will still be a way for them to take a document and to show evidence as how they found their answer. Uh, quizzes and tests, and again, similar to life science, homework throughout the week. Uh, luckily enough, I am the life science teacher, so I'll be able to have a fine balance between those two classes. Um, just some policies that are actually in um, the grade policy, seventh, the middle school policies sheets. Um, the homework policy, so must meet a five-point criteria on time, complete with effort, follow directions, accurate or corrected and need and organized. Um, so grade homework, some of them will be submitted to me. Some of them I'll just look at briefly. Um, but that is kind of the base scale for the point system um, at St. Rose School, especially for the middle school team. Uh, the late work policy is the next day late is a loss of 10% points. Past next day late, um, you know, I will accept things as the unit is going on um, with this, you know, the deduction uh, but once we have the final assessment, whether that be a test, a paper, or a project, that is it for that unit. And I will not accept um, assignments one, you know, from the previous unit to the next unit. Uh, and that's across the board throughout the middle school team. Uh, all of this information is in the um, middle school guidelines and policy sheet, which was sent home with your children last week. So they hopefully have all, you hopefully have all been able to look at that. Uh, I just wanted to quickly talk about the focus for the seventh graders. Um, you know, being having worked with high, middle schoolers before and also having taught high schools for the last two years, um, the biggest focus that I have as their home teacher, but also their life science and their social studies teacher is organization. Uh, I'm going to highly, 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 highly um, work with them on the usage of the student planner. Every single day, I expect them to have their student planner in class. We will use it to write down um, their homework or any assignments, definitely for life science and for social studies. Um, hopefully the goal is that across the board for the middle school, that'll be done. Um, their organization of desks and lockers. Uh, I will do my best to allow students, um, hopefully one opportunity a week or once every few weeks to organize their lockers um, this is going to be their home base for the school year. Um, students are still getting used to the transitioning from using solely desks and cubbies to lockers. Um, so this will be something that will be kind of 
we'll be working on as a group is our organization of our lockers um, throughout the school year. The other big thing that I like to focus on is responsibility. Um, so, you know, the ownership of their learning. I am here to help them. Um, so I'm hoping that they, if they have any questions, they're not too nervous or scared to ask me. Um, so that's kind of the main ownership of their learning. And then just responsibility um, for completing and bringing assignments to class and then also materials. Um, so I'm really, really hoping to work with them that, you know, they may have completed their assignment, but they need to actually physically bring it into class for me to receive. And that goes as well for the materials, you know, pens or pencils, their notebook, their binders, things like that. Uh, and lastly, I'm just really hoping to grow, um, have them grow, you know, that's one of my main goals, uh, educationally, emotionally, and spiritually throughout the school year. I'm hoping to be able to share with them a lot of cool and interesting things about life science and social studies. Um, you know, that's educational piece, but also, also I have a big belief in social emotional learning. Um, so hopefully we will, you know, building components of the classroom, both in homeroom and the two subjects help to help them grow emotionally and spiritually as well. I just wanted to say a thank you um, for watching this video uh, and, and for going through this PowerPoint. Um, I'm looking forward to having a great, great school year at St. Rose. Uh, I'm looking forward and happy and hoping to be able to work with every family uh, with, with the goal of creating students uh, and fostering students who are compassionate about their interests, uh, but also who are eager to learn and come to school, uh, excited to be learning. Uh, please feel free to contact me via email with any questions. Uh, my email is right there, clane at strosepdx.org. I'm looking forward to seeing some of you and hopefully all of you tomorrow um, for the back to school night. Uh, please, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. And hopefully everybody has a great rest of the evening. Bye-bye.